So you've been thinking, should I start a poultry firm or I shouldn't? A lot going on in your mind. Will it work out? Will it not work out? Well, I'm Daniel, a practicing medical doctor, and about 11 months ago, I started a poultry farm. And hey, I'm not doing so badly. I didn't have a lot of resources, but I had my brains. In this video, I'm going to let you know whether you should start a poultry farm or not, if it's a good idea for you or not. By the end of the video, you'll be able to think and decide on your own whether you should start a poultry farm or you shouldn't. Stick around with me. I've been told and I know a lot of people who have started poultry farms and they have failed when they have the resources. So just so you know, at the very beginning of the video, resources are not the most important thing when you're starting a poultry farm. They are very important, but they are not the most important thing. Number one, availability. Are you available? Before you start a poultry farm, you should think to yourself, will you be available? Especially if you're just starting a poultry farm. The story changes if you've had the farm for around two years or more. You've understood the complexities of the whole game. You're even able to tell what's happening, even with you not around. But at the beginning, you should be able to step on that farm. You should be able to put on the boots that I'm wearing. You should be able to enter the poultry farm. Hold the chickens. Pick the chickens. Hold them in your hands. Tell whether the crop is full. You should be able to tell whether the chickens have drunk water. You should be able to tell whether there is everything that you need on the farm. You should be able to tell whether the chickens are coughing or not. Because everyone else might not be able to tell whether the chickens are coughing or not. Especially if you're a beginner. So are you available? Can you come to the poultry farm as often as possible? Can you see if the feeds are enough? Can you see if the chickens are feeding? as they are supposed to feed. So you need to be available. You need to be able to come and give surprise visits to the farm. Find out, can, do the chickens have water? The moment you come in, are the drinkers full? Is there water for the chickens? Because if the chickens are not drinking, you're not going to have any egg. So availability is the number one and most important factor if you're going to be starting your poultry farm. Number two, commitment. If you're going to start a poultry farm, you're going to have to be very committed to the goal because it's not very easy. At the beginning, especially at the beginning, things are not very easy. They might not go as you planned. The prices of the feeds keep varying. Today you might have a source of water, tomorrow it might be dry and you need to find other ways of getting water. Today the maize might be costing this, tomorrow it will cost us double. While you are starting the farm, you might have calculated that you will be spending this much on the feeds. Tomorrow, the feeds will double, the cost of the feeds will double. And hey, if you're not committed, you're going to give up. A lot of people have given up because they don't have the commitment. Many times you're going to have to forego going to the bar, or you're going to have to forego watching a football game, or I don't know, spending some time with your family in order to go and be present on the poultry farm. Many times you're going to have to go into the deep villages where you can find feeds at a cheaper price. But so commitment is the second most important thing if you're going to be starting a poultry farm. Number three, passion. Passion is very important. Many times you're going to have to enter the chicken house, call the chickens, find out whether it has eaten, check the crop, like I'm checking right now. I can feel the crop has some water and I can feel the feeds, yeah? So you're going to have to check the crop, find out whether the chicken has fed, carry the chicken, find out whether it's weighing the correct weight, yeah? You're going to have to hold it, find out whether they are drinking. Many times the chickens get scared. You're going to have to enter the poultry house and find out what's scaring them. So if you don't have the passion to start a poultry farm, hey, it might not be the thing for you. But if you have the passion, then you're in the right place. You must have passion. You must have the desire. You must love the chickens. Because when you love them, then you will give them everything that they need. And when you give them everything that they need, then they're going to care for you. What do I mean by care for you? They're going to provide for you the eggs. They're going to provide for you the meat, depending on the kind of chicken that you decided to keep. Location. The location. That is to say, where the farm is going to be placed is very, very important. There are a lot of intricacies involved in that. Number one, depending on where the farm is located, the prices of the feeds might be different. Number two, and more importantly, depending on where the farm is located, the market will vary. You don't want to start a poultry business. Let's say you're going to be keeping broilers for meat. You don't want to start keeping broilers and then not have market not have someone you're going to be selling your broilers to. Otherwise, you're going to end up in losses. 
you don't want to start a poultry farm in an area where everyone is keeping chickens for eggs yeah because in the end you're going to have a lot of difficulty selling your eggs and then you'll end up giving up on the business Number three, the poultry farm should be in an area which is accessible for you because if you're going to be starting a poultry farm for the very first time, it is very important that you can supervise it. Like I said, availability is important. So you should be able to frequent the farm. You should be able to come to the farm as often as possible, find out if the chickens are fed, find out all the necessary things if they're available on the farm. And that's important. So the farm should be in an area that you can access as often as possible. Finally, the resources. The resources are also very important. Number one, it's very hard to calculate how much you'll spend. If for example you're going to be keeping layers, you're going to give them feeds every day until four to five months, that's when they start laying. That's when they'll be able to give you back some money that you can then use to buy feeds. So you need to calculate how much money you're going to have to use and have enough money available until the chickens start laying. And trust me, that's very hard to calculate because like I said, the feeds and the prices of the feeds keep varying. So unless you buy the feeds and keep them present, feeds enough to take you for five months or six months, then you need to have an alternative source of income. So if you're working and you have a business or you're working in a bank or whatever kind of work that you have, it's very important that you don't give up on your job. You're going to have to continue working so that you can provide money for the firm until it can sustain itself. That's why I said the passion and the commitment are very important. So just to recap, the most important thing that should help you decide if you want to start a poultry farm is availability, commitment, passion, location of the farm, and resources. If you can deal with those five, answer them, and you can handle all of them, then welcome to the business. You're ready to start a poultry farm. If you think the video has been very helpful, click the like button, comment below with your questions and anything that you want me to tackle in the very next videos. So please subscribe to the channel, click the like button, share the video with your friends. In my next videos, I'm going to let you know how I started the poultry farm. I'm going to share with you my story. I'm going to let you know how I started the farm with very limited resources. I'm going to tell you how to improvise with everything, the feeders, the drinkers, how to get the feeds, how to find the market, and how to help you grow your poultry business. Come back for more next time.